Good morning. On March 29th, a couple in southwest Lancaster County had on their computer, their, their computer shut down and the screen displayed that there was a malware issue and a phone number appeared. The couple called the number and an individual told them that they had been frauded $5,000 and the FBI was looking into them for child porn and that they had Pornhub on their computer, which they did not have but they were concerned about being told that. Throughout the next several days, they received more phone calls that made them concerned that they had done something illegal and that their bank accounts could be uh, compromised. On April 1st, the caller convinced the couple to withdraw $115,000 just over that from their bank accounts and to use the money to purchase gold bars from a local area business, which they did. On April 6th, they were told to put the gold bars in a cardboard box and then a man would pick it up and take it to Washington, D.C. and place it into a bank account that was safe. Later, a man in a full-sized, newer, silver Ford Explorer arrived at their residence and the couple gave them the gold and he left. After that, they have not received any more information. They have contacted the bank and us to start the investigation. This, as you know, is a fraud and it's going to be extremely difficult for us to locate the gold bars. Again, when people receive these phone numbers and when your computer, they are using scare tactics on you to try to get you to give them money. The biggest scary part about this is usually they have them mail or give them numbers on credit cards or green dot cards. It is very unusual that a person actually shows up at a residence and takes um, the money, i.e. in this account, the gold bars. Do you have any questions? They've, had, they've met in parking lots before where people have given money to people in parking lots, but not uh, a residence? Yeah, this is the first one that I can remember for a long time that we have worked at the sheriff's office that anybody has shown up at the residence. Do you know if this is the biggest um, dollar amount that the sheriff's office has worked on this year as far as fraud? This year, yes. We've had several of them near this before. I can't remember if this is exactly the largest one that I can remember, but this one, as you can tell, is pretty big. And again, gold bars are really hard to find and, and locate to even be able to prove that it belongs to them. So um, we are working on it. We're doing research on the phone numbers that they have given us, and we'll, we'll do everything we possibly can. But again, usually um, it's very likely since it occurred April 6th, that this is out of the country by now. Do you know the company that was used to purchase the gold bars? Uh, I do, but I'm going to leave that just for the protection of them and the couple on that part of it. And again, I'm not going to be re releasing the couple's names just because uh, I'm sure they're embarrassed and um, on what transpired, but again, they find good people that don't do it, ever done anything bad and they use the scare tactics on them to get them to do things that normally they wouldn't do. Again, we, we keep telling everybody this, if you have any inkling, especially if they're starting to ask you to send money or do things, please contact us, please contact your bank. If they'd have done either one of this, this would not have occurred. Is there an elderly couple? Uh, the, 71 and 68. Can you go over the dollar amount again that was taken? $115,800 in gold bars. They went to an area business, purchased it with that money, and then that, uh, that they got gold bars, and that's how uh, what they gave the individual. Is the land 71 and the gold 68? No, other way around. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.